Chuck, what time is it? Currently, it is 12.28. Deeply implicit in that is that I know it's 12.28 in the afternoon versus 12.28 in the morning. We don't know if you're using a 24-hour clock. A. B, that we are both in the same time zone, so we're presuming you're giving it to me for this time zone. Also, you didn't give me seconds, because that's not how we commonly give time to people. But if we were trees that lived a thousand years, you would just say, it's 2025. Context matters here. It does. And we, as humans, when I was a nerdy kid, I always cared the exact seconds, but generally, people wouldn't even need time to that precision. We had to sort of organize time in such a way that the whole world could speak with itself. Okay. All right. I get it. And in topics I think we've addressed before, but many people already know, that time zones are a product of transportation going east to west. Right. Not just riding a horse, but transportation that's fast, that goes to such different parts of the earth that high noon for you, if you kept track of time, would not be high noon for them. For them. Right. So they said, we want everybody's high noon to have the sun at the top at, of the, at the top of the, at how high up right. it gets. Right. Everybody should have a chance at a high noon. Right. right. So you carve up the world like orange slices. Like orange slices. Okay. okay. Right. We are binning the time you would experience into zones. So mm. 24 zones. We just said an hour is good enough. Okay. Okay. Right. Hour is fine. But we could have binned it into 30-minute increments. Could have. Time zones. Right. right. Could have, but we didn't. Could have made it into one-minute increments. Into one-minute increments. And then you walk over to the other side of the room, you're like, oh, man, I'm in a different time right, zone. Right, right. You, and you have to change your time change by, a minute, by a minute. By a minute. Okay. A little much. <laughs> you are three minutes late for this meeting. Dude, I came from Jersey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's go over there, and I'll be on time. <laughs> so I want people to appreciate how blunt this decision was. Mm -hmm. We could have had time where everyone in the world experiences the same clock time. We could have set it up that way. Right, right, right. But we didn't. And we wouldn't have called it AM or PM. Right. Because you know what they stand for? Uh, wait a minute. We did this before. I think we did. One is, give me a second now, man. Is it anti-meridian and post-meridian? Is that it? Very good. Oh, not nice. anti, anti. Anti, like not anti, anti. Like an anti room right. is it's a before just not, room. I am so against this meridian. <laughs> so, so anti meridian so and post meridian. A meridian for any individual on right. earth is a line that goes from due north through the sky to due south. So it's your own personal for Every line. longitude has its own meridian. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. Right. Okay, right. I remember that. Okay. All right, good. So, anti-meridian means the sun has not yet reached your meridian. You right. Post-meridian means it's, it's already passed it's already my passed. meridian. There it is. There you go. There it is. So, in time zones, since it spreads across longitude, right? Okay. Since you've binned everyone into the same clock time, mm -hmm. the AM and PM really only applies if you're in the exact middle of the time zone. Right. Right. Okay. For everybody else, it'll happen a little sooner mm -hmm. or, a little, or a little later. later. Okay. Okay. But we're all just agreeing that this is the case because there's so much about it that's just let's all agree. True. And just call, and and call it a day and go out and have a beer. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got 24 time zones and we set up the world so that one time zone is preeminent among them all. Oh, really? Yeah. Now who gets to do that? The Brits. Jesus, so like them. I must say, all these other inferior time zones, we have to do something to make sure that we are the preeminent time zone. And they did. They kind of earned it. Oh, okay. okay. They were the uh, holding Polynesian navigation aside for the moment. All right. Uh, of course, the brown people navigation. <laughs> Let's put that over here for a second. Uh, the Brits made it a very big deal uh -huh. to figure out how to navigate the world with high precision. True. Okay. Okay. Which aided. Wait the, a minute. The Dutch did that too, though. With, but Brits did it better, with higher precision. All right. Okay. Now I'll give you. Which that. is why the Brits they well, got they, to claim that's why they got to, the, the yeah. sun never set on the British Empire. Well, well, of course, because you took everything over. But it also means the sun never rises on the British Empire. <laughs> 
the same. There you go. <laughs> One cannot be true without the other. Yeah, without the right, other, right. right. So they basically took over the world yeah. using their navigational. But part of how they did that was they built an observatory in Greenwich, England, that observed the passage of stars across its meridian. Mm -hmm. And it wrote down the time that that happened for every single star that crossed. Okay. Right, I'm going to say that's, uh, that's kind of badass. It's badass. And that, that created a grid of time yeah. for the night sky. Absolutely. And it's called sidereal time. Right. Sidereal meaning star time. Okay. Once you've gridded the sky. Right. Then you're, that's your first step to grid the earth in a way because the sky is over you on the earth. So if I see a star cross my meridian and I know what time that crossed Greenwich, then I can figure out my longitude. Okay. Okay. From how far away I am from Greenwich. From Greenwich, right. Yeah, because I, so they mapped it all out. That's pretty cool. Okay. And so when it came time to figure out who's going to get the first meridian, mm -hmm. what's another word for first? Prime. 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 Meridian. Uh, the Brits had a very good case. Now, the French tried this too. This is the French observatory. Rumor has it that the French seeded the prime meridian in a deal where the Brits had to then adopt the metric system, which the French had just invented coming out of their French oh, they Revolution. Oh, they measurements. That's it. So rumor has it that that's how that okay. settled out. That's pretty cool, though. Um, so now, so we have Greenwich. Greenwich. It's Greenwich time. It's Greenwich time. All right. Now, here's a problem. Earth rotates once in how much time? I don't know, 24 hours. Was there some other guess you were going to make? Nah, listen, I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Did you uh, have some other second no, I choice? I know who I'm talking to because you'll do some crap like this. You would think it was 24 <laughs> That's hours. exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Earth rotates once in 23 hours and 56 minutes. Okay. That's, believe it or not, though, that's a big difference from 24 hours. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. At, at 20, 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.1 seconds. Wow. That's the number I memorized like when I was eight, because I just thought it was so cool. Oh, you're just bragging now. No, okay, so now, how come our watches don't go 23 hours, 56 minutes? Right. Because we don't care how long it takes Earth to rotate. We care how long it takes the sun to return to its position in the oh, that's sky. That's right, because we're talking about the meridians. Yes. How long does it take the sun to get back, back to, the, to meridian? the meridian? That's 24 hours. Gotcha. So where the extra four minutes go? I don't know. I'm going to tell you. Okay. In the in the day that it took to rotate, mm -hmm. in the 23 hours and 56 minutes it took to rotate, Earth moved in its orbit. Yes. Right, because we're also not just going, we're not just rotating, we're going around, around the, sun. the sun itself. So okay, we go one it. day's worth of our orbit around, around, and the sun is not lined up where it usually, we have to turn a little extra to, to line, line the sun back up. Gotcha. Every one of these days, we have a little extra turn. Right. Okay? Right. To line the sun back up. Okay. That turn is four minutes. Cool. Okay. Okay. Except it's not exactly four minutes. <laughs> Of course. Of, all right. All right. Here's the problem. There are times we are closer to the sun. That's in January, December, January. Times we are farthest from the sun. Okay. June, July. All right. Okay. When we're closer to the sun, we're moving faster in our orbit, as Newton and Kepler's laws prescribe. Mm -hmm. If we go faster in our orbit, it means we go farther in a day. So we go, so that four minutes is further, I mean, wait. So we have to I'm rotate. Missing. More, more than, four, more than minutes four minutes to get to, to line up the sun. Gotcha. And on the other side, we don't go as far. We, we'd have to rotate less, less than, than four minutes. Gotcha. Okay. So what do you do? So they said, we got to average this out. Right. Okay. Because it is a mess. It's a mess. We can't keep changing. It's not right. our fault. Earth is not a perfect circle. Right. So you know what we're going to do, people? Give up on time. <laughs> no. We're going <laughs> to <we're gonna laughs> take averages. Right. And let me tell you how bad it would get. You're waiting for the sun to get back to the meridian, mm -hmm. depending on the time of year, it'll get there 16 minutes earlier than your clock says it should get there. That's worse than New York City buses, or, okay? Or and, and that borders on CP time right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not, that's not PC. To be no, it's not, but who cares? It's still funny. <laughs> so uh, the sun can get there 16 minutes early, early or arrive 16 minutes late. That's how big the shift is because of Earth's 
distance to the sun changing that extra little four minutes. If we had a perfectly circular orbit, four minutes would pop, would hit it every time. Every time. But we don't. Right. So we got to average this out. Gotcha. And what's another word for average? Mean. Mean. The mean. So the Greenwich time zone is officially Greenwich mean time. It has nothing to do with emotion or anger. Mm. It is the complete average of how long it takes Earth to rotate and have the sun return to its spot on the sky. I kind of like the idea of Greenwich Mean Time just being uh, time with a very bad disposition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, what time is it? I already told you. <laughs> you asked me that a minute ago. Exactly. It's a minute later. <laughs> time with an attitude. So there's so much more in GMT than it just being a simple time zone. Right. So there it is. There it is. Another explainer. I liked it. That, Put, that was good. Putting the mean in the Greenwich Mean Time. This has been Star Talk, yet another explainer. Chuck, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. All right. Neil deGrasse Tyson, as always, keep looking up.